guys, so today we're going to be making oats and berries. You're gonna need one cup of berries and you're going to mash them all together. You're gonna add one and a half cup of old fashioned oats. Mix everything together very well. So we all know the importance of having every food group for ourselves, the same thing for the crabs. So this is a great color booster and they're getting their oats. You're going to add one tablespoon of blueberry extract. I did get this on Amazon. This is actually optional. You can just use the berries. This is very good for a color booster. For our hermit crabs, it just boosts their natural color. of honey it doesn't matter if it's organic or not regardless bees do travel so you just want to give it a nice little drizzle of honey and mix it all together Then you're gonna add two spoons of quinoa and just incorporate everything together. So now you wanna add one ounce of unsulfured raisins. You wanna make sure that they are safe. You can get this at your local supermarket. So the crabs are getting a bunch of goodies. They have antioxidants and the berries, great color booster, and the oats. Then you can add a couple of spoons of unsweetened coconut. You can get this in your baking aisle in your supermarket. Everything we have added up until this point can be consumed by humans except up until this point when we're adding a few sprinkles of mealworms. So now we want to dry everything. You can use an oven or a dehydrator. If you're going to use the oven, bake it at 200, prop open the door with a wooden spoon until crispy. For the dehydrator, you're going to put it at your highest setting for me is 158 and it typically takes about four to six hours for this to be crispy. 